Perbite Institute works on viral diseases of both humans and livestock and we try to reduce the impact of those diseases, predict where they're going to go and what threat they pose to the UK. So we have major new facilities to actually link with our isolation units to be able to process samples and also act in terms of diagnostics when there's outbreaks of viruses in the UK. Um, and none of this is possible or um, able to be biocontained without a major investment from BBSRC. For me it's like being a kid in a sweet shop basically, so I have a new facility to actually infect insects, look at how they transmit viruses and also hopefully give us better predictions in terms of what is threatening the UK at the moment and what might threaten the UK in the future. Food security is a big global problem because of the increasing human population and, and that when you twin back with things like globalisation you get movement of viruses around areas which they haven't been in before where they can cause major issues in terms of trade and also in terms of human health. What the uh, Plough Art gives us the ability to do is to look at some of the viruses which are circulating in other areas of the world uh, in order to then be able to predict what their impact might be in the UK. A lot of the time these viruses are circulating in areas where they naturally occur. Um, it's when they move into exotic areas like the UK that we have problems and being able to predict that you need to do quite a lot of background work uh, under containment before you can actually accurately say whether or not they may be a problem in the future for these reasons. This, within the UK particularly, is a unique investment. So this is housing world-class scientists to do world-class work. And without this kind of investment, it's actually impossible to do this type of work um, because of the complex um, containment arrangements actually required. So to see this investment, I think, is a statement of intent from BBSRC to do work which is world-leading.